Layla, what happened with you? Why are you crying? Theo, you know, Martin called me just now. And he refused to marry me. I'm so depressed. He said I'm not interested in you anymore. I like someone else. Sorry for this. Theo my brother. Tell me please. What should I do now? Layla. But you both were in so much in love with each other. How I can be even possible? Why he said so? I don't know Theo, why he said like this to me. We met last week, he was so normal and chill. I don't know, what happened with him. All of a sudden. Layla, what I think is. Martin is forced to say like this. He is a very good and sensible guy. I know him. He can't do this. I don't know why but I think. There is something behind this all. What do you mean by this? Who will force him to do this? I didn't get this at all. I don't know Layla. Well, I'm going out, I'll meet you after a while. Theo, please my brother. Talk with Martin. And ask him not to do this bad with me at all. Okay Layla. Please be relaxed and calm down. I'll be home soon. Stone, my friend how are you? I'm good sir Theo. Madame Freya didn't came today. She is not well and at home. You can call her. Stone, I came here to meet you not Freya. I went to her studio first. But you were not there. So I thought, maybe you will be at boutique. Why you want to meet me sir Theo? What is the matter? Stone I want to talk with you on some important thing. Need to discuss something with you? But? I don't have that much extra time for you here. I don't want to entertain you here at my workplace. Sorry Theo. Look Stone, it's sake of my life and wife. I need to talk with you urgently with you. Also thankful to you. If you give me few minutes please. Sorry Theo, I don't want to waste my time in some useless talk. You are a cheater man and greedy as well. Yes, that's it. These are the same words Freya said to me. But, Stone you know I am not like that at all. Theo, look please. You have spoiled my sister Maria's life. He became a patient. Just because of you. I don't want to talk with you now. You are so bad man. Your family is so greedy and nasty. They make my sister and mother fool these past whole years. Stone, what is the matter with Maria? I didn't do anything ever with her. Why are you saying like this to me? I even hardly talk with her once or twice maybe in my whole life. How can out any blame like this on me? And my family made you a fool. But how? Don't be over smart Theo. You talked with my sister, you made her fool. You promised with her. You will marry her. But when the time came, you all denied to this and refused to marry Maria. She get this onto her nerves. And now you see. She is a severe patient of depression. And in the end you married with Madame Freya. Are you for real Stone? Are you out of your mind? I never messaged to Maria. And never even talked with her. Then how it can be possible? I asked her that. I will marry her. This is all so absurd. Useless. Totally a propaganda against me. Wow. What a big liar you are Theo. This is why. I don't want to talk with you. I know it. You will not admit your mistake at all. You have some kind of misunderstanding stone. I never had done this. Yes it was not me. Believe me. Then, just look at this. Whose number is this, and isn't it you Theo? Just look at this. Oh my. Stone. This is not me. Believe me please. This is my old number, which I left here in my home, when I went for studies abroad. I don't know who did this all. And why? I never sends these pictures and text messages to Maria. Oh please stop it now. Please stop making me fool. I think you must leave from here this time Theo, unless I forgot that. You are my boss husband. Go away from here. Go away Theo. 
Just go. Theo, why you came here? Please go from my house. I beg you. Please spare me. I already called Layla. And refused her to marry with your sister. What you want more from me now? Please don't beat me again. Please leave me alone. I beg you. What? Who have beated you Martin? What are you saying? Who were those people? You threaten you Martin. It was Thomas. He came from your father's office. He said, your father wants to meet me. And he took me to an odd place. There these two men beated me so hard, and asked me to refuse Layla. That I can't marry her. Otherwise, we will not spare you and not even your family. Martin, look. You are just like friend and brother. Let me tell you. Layla also loves you so very much, as you love her unconditionally, and it's my manly promise to you both. I'll, yes I'll sure let you both be married with each other. Don't worry about this. Don't worry Martin, I'm with you brother. No need to be afraid, and if anyone, try to harm you, threat you, just give a single call. I'll there for you at the spot. All right? Theo, thanks man. You don't know what you had done for me. You see, I love Layla. So very much. And you saved us both. You are such a nice, kind-hearted man. This world is going on just because of people like you. Thank you so very much. Martin, not always money, wealth, status and high-profile businesses. These all things are secondary. What should be on priority, it's love, affection, humanity and more to this relationships. We born, with nothing, empty-handed. And while we will die, then it's the same. We went to heaven empty-handed only. But with the good deeds we have done in this world. On the judgment day we are answerable for our sins and good deeds. So we should always try to do what is right, no matter what. All these are material things, money, fame standards and statuses. All will be stay behind in this world. Well, now please relax. I promised you and Layla. You both love each other. And soon you will be one as husband and wife. Don't worry, I'm with both of you. Theo, thank you so much. I have no words for you. You are such an amazing soul. You have a heart of gold Theo. I'm so thankful to you man. Because, I never think my life without Layla. And you did so much for us. Soon, you will get its reward. Oh my. It's alright Martin. You've already pampered me a lot. Well, I'm Layla's brother. So I must be that much cool and good. Hey Layla, my dear sister. I need to talk with you. What is it Theo? Tell me. Theo, I mean what you have done bro? How it can be possible huh? How he gets ready at once, after talking with you? Please tell me in detail Theo. Layla, as I was suspect this, and it's come right. Martin asked forcefully to make you call and to say this to you. Oh no. But why Theo? Who is behind this all? Why anybody do this with us? Why? Layla. The man behind this all scheming and planned is... Is Mr. Jacob. Yes Layla, it's our father behind this all. He sent his man, to threaten Martin, they beat him so badly, and also gave him life threat. 
He gets so much tensed and forcefully said, he can't be with you. Now you get this all. Oh no. Now, I get this Theo. Daddy did this all. He wants me to get married with that Benjamin. This was all his planning. How selfish Daddy is Theo. Thank you my brother. You don't have idea. You have saved my life. Thank you. Layla, please cheer up now. And now, here I want to ask you something here. And I hope you will not lie with me. I need you to be fair with me. See I have saved your love and relation with Martin, also I promised you both. I will make you marry both. Now it's your time to play fair with me and tell me the truth only. Please Layla. What happened Theo? What is the matter with you? Please tell me. Before meeting with Martin, I've met with Stone, your friend Maria's brother. He worked in Freya's studio as a manager. He said to me, that I am a cheater and fraud. I wonder why he is saying this to me, because these are the same words of Freya, when she fighted with me and claimed me as a fraud and cheater. Just because, she thought I spoiled the life of girls, and made them mentally sick. Moreover Layla, my heart sinks, when Stone have showed me, text messages and pictures of me, which was sent to Maria by my old number. Layla, when I went for my studies my old sim and phone was here, and in your use. Please for heaven's sake Layla, tell me what is this all. Please, you are my sister I have done so much good for you. How it is possible that you can do this bad with me? Tell me honestly please. What was that Layla? Due to these all nonsense, my life is spoiled. Freya is not with me, she wants to be separated Layla. I can't see my child. Please, do justice with me. Help me to save my relation with my wife Freya please. Theo, I will tell you only truth my brother. You see I love you so very much. But I don't know after listening to this all, how you will react, and how you will forgive me. I'm already very much ashamed for this. And now again, I seek your pardon only my brother. It's okay Alila, but please tell me everything now. I will not say anything to you. But tell me truth only please. Theo, when you went for studies abroad, then you gave me your old SIM card and old phone. Is it? Then I didn't use that for many weeks, but one day mommy came to me and asked me to switch it on. I said, okay. Because, I was unaware from her plannings Theo. She said to me, Layla I want to marry my son Theo. Into an average family. I want a girl who is pretty but below us. She should always in our influenced, so that she do the same as I asked her to do. So you see, mommy is against business marriages. She asked me to get in touch with Maria, as being Theo. And show your interest into her, grab her into your fist, the she'll thought Theo talks with me, and likes me so very much. She will soon entrap by us, then we will marry Theo with that girl Maria. She has planned this for you Theo, when you will complete your education, we will marry you with Maria. Theo, I am so sorry my brother. I was me who did this all crap with you. I am so sorry from the bottom of my heart. I send all those messages and pictures to Maria, when she gets so much interested in you, and started loving you. Then everything is in front of you. Layla, this was so bad. You and mommy played with the innocent girl Maria. But tell me one thing here. I didn't get this logic at all. Why you did this with her, and how it can be possible she gets so much involved in me only by text and pictures. There is no logic in this Layla. Theo, it was not only this my brother. I used to send her voice messages to the voice notes you sent to mommy. I edit them and send those to her. So she thought it's real Theo who is involved in me. I'm so sorry Theo. Oh Layla, what you people did with me and that girl. But, Layla, tell me this I still can't believe this thing. How a girl can be so much stupid and insane. That she get to start at a person who is only available in chats and pictures. She never ever have talked with me nor I. Then, how? I'm so much astonished by this all. And her mother, Stone's mother. She hates me so much but why? Theo, we used to send her so many expensive gifts on every month. And more to this, mommy gave a diamond ring to Maria, and said Theo has sent this from there. And now it's confirmed that, Maria will be our daughter-in-law soon. 
by this act Theo, Maria get confirmed that Theo is right and for real. Loves me and so much interested in me, however, our mommy also said this to Maria's mother, when Theo will be back. We will marry them both for sure. Theo weds Maria. And when you came back, then there were everything was different, Edward, Auntie Isla and Daddy. They all have made a plan for your wedding with Max's daughter Freya. So that, they can grab his all wealth and businesses. Because, Freya is the only daughter of Max. But, in the start, Mommy was so much against this marriage with Freya, because she wants Maria to be your wife Theo, as she has committed with that family. But unfortunately, I don't know what Daddy and Edward had done with Mommy. She also agreed to them. And they all get ready you to be the groom of Freya instead of Maria. Now you see, everything is crystal clear in front of you Theo, when your wedding has been fixed there with Freya. Mommy called to Maria's mother and refused her, and gave her the reason. That Theo likes Freya and her father is also not agree for this wedding at all. So I am so sorry for this all. We can't carry on with this relation anymore sorry. Then what not happened with Maria and her family? Maria got so much of depression. Her mother also fell sick and hospitalized. They suffered a lot at them. This is all. I hope now everything is clear to you. Stone. Maria and their mother hates you for this reason Theo. They thought. It's you, who spoiled the life of Maria. And all. This was all mommy's planning Theo. And she used me for this. And now, they don't get what they want from Freya. So they wanted you to get divorced from Freya. They only think for themselves only. No one else Theo. This is all about them, their personal interests and benefits only. This is how it works. Are you seriously my family? You all played with me. I loved you all, respects you all. And never done anything bad for any of you. And what you people had done with me. This is so unreal for me Layla. You all destroyed my life, my name and my name. Please Theo, forgive me for this all. You just come along with me Layla. You have to tell this to Maria and his family. Now it's your time to pay me back. Come with me tell this whole plotted story to Maria and Stone. You have to save my relation with Freya. As I have saved your relation with Martin today. Okay I will go with you Theo. Whatever I have to do for the sake of your relation with Freya. I will surely do this. I forgive you and mommy both. But what I need is. My wife Freya with me and my child. I don't want anything else. What happened with you now Stone? These days you seem so odd to me. Madam, Theo came here to meet me? He came here to meet you, why Stone? He came here to ask me why my family hates him so much. And why I behave so annoying with him. Then I have showed him all the messages and pictures of him, which he had sent to Maria. Then what he said Stone? Madam, what you'll say. He started his so-called overacting. But I showed him everything with all the proofs. But he didn't admit his mistakes at all. Then what he said to you Stone, after seeing that? He is a big liar. Madam he didn't admit. He said I didn't send these to Maria. I even never talked with your sister. This is a misunderstanding. Anything else? Did he ask for me? No madam, he didn't ask about you. And just went away. And continuously he was saying. I didn't do these to your sister Maria. It was not me. It's all a lie. Someone else have done this in my name. But it's not me. But I know. He was lying. Edward tell me now, what should we do? Because Ruby told me, Theo totally refused to give divorce to Freya. He said I can go from this house, but I'll not divorce Freya. Now what is next Edward? Sir Jacob. I'm here for you. Why you are getting tensed? What you'll do for this Edward? Sir Jacob, don't worry. If Theo is not giving divorce to Freya, then they will make a plan. Freya will take divorce from Theo. Wow Edward very well. You are so evil genius man. I have no worries. 
until you are here with me. Nothing can be happened to this Oliver Mason Empire when you are with me. Thank you so much, sir. Isla, how insensible woman you are. You know, I'm your husband. You didn't came to see me there, but even didn't bother to call me and ask me about my health. Is I am really your husband or servant? Don't you have any sense of responsibility towards your husband at all? All the time you are busy in money making and business. You are here from two days and you started your so-called complaining against me. Many time I told you I am businesswoman. Yes I have no time for you and I was so busy in my business and work they are more important. I am saying this again, don't you dare to talk me like this again. I will not bear this tone. Don't eat my head. I am going to another city for two days. I have to meet someone there. See you soon, bye. Go wherever you want to go, I have no concern. Don't tell me your plans. Okay, fine, bye. Maria, I come here to talk with you on an important note. And Theo also come along with me. And he is outside. Theo is also come with you? Yes, he is with me. If you say let him come inside. We want to clear something with you all. Yes sure why not? Layla, you must clear everything from beginning in front of Maria and her family. I want you tell them whole story at Z. Okay Theo why not? Yes Layla you can tell me what is the matter. Maria, we are so sorry. But I have to tell you the reality. Maria, the text messages, pictures and voice notes. Everything you have got from Theo. Actually it was not him. He was so unaware from this all drama. It was me who sent you those. Because, my mother asked me to do so. This was all her planning. She wants you to be the bride of my brother. She wants someone from an average middle class family. To be the Theo's wife. So that she can hold everything into her hand. And that girl was you. She plotted this all. And I was the puppet in her hands. I have done that all. Not Theo. Our mother played this drama. And those gifts and diamond ring was also was given by mommy. Not Theo. He is innocent. He don't know anything. Please forgive us. And because of this all insanity. My brother's life is ruined. Her wife left her, and yours as well life is like hell. I am the sinner. Maria, you can do anything with me. Theo is nothing to do with this. Please Maria. I seek for you forgiveness. Please forgive me. Layla. How could you? You used to be my best friend. And is this the way friends spoiled the life of other friend? I can't believe this. Your mother and you. Both are the makers. You spoiled so many lives. Mine, Theo in that phrase. Well, I can forgive you and your mother. But you did so bad with me. You've played with my emotions. But remember always. You have to pay for this, not now. But on the judgment day. I'm shocked, your mother is a woman, and how she can play with the emotions of any other woman. She is a cheap lady. Maria, we are so sorry. I know sorry is a very little word for this great mess. But anyhow, I want to apologize to you on the behalf of my mother and sister. If possible, please try to forgive them. And I know. It's so hard for you. But please, try to forgive them. And yes you are right. On the judgment day. We all have to pay for every good and bad deeds of our.
Stone, Theo is innocent. This was all the planning of Layla and her mother Ruby. They have played with me all these years. They were the one, who are guilty. Theo is innocent in all these matters. And we took him as a sinner. But he is not. Freya left her, after listening this. It means, Theo was right. He also came to me. And said this is not him. He didn't do anything. He don't know about this all. It means, he was right. Oh no. And I behaved so bad with him. Yes, Stone. Now it's time to tell the truth to Freya. She also know the truth. It was the Jacobs they are so bad people. They will have to pay for this all plannings. You must tell this to Freya. Stone. She should not repeat any kind of mistake. Theo is not guilty. He is also a victim like me. Stone, whole night I thought about this all. What happened here yesterday? I'm so shocked by this all. Well, I've decided Stone. I'll tell to Madame Freya each and everything by myself. Okay Maria. I think it would be much good. If you go to her and tell about Theo everything. It's very necessary now. We can't let them spoil their life like this. There is no fault of Theo at all. He was not a fraud and cheater man. Yes yeah, Stone. You are right my brother. I don't want this. The way my life gets spoiled by the silly acts of planning. I don't want Theo's life also get ruined by these all. He is a very nice, humble and gentle human being. Freya and Theo, must stay together with each other. Good Maria. I like this initiative of yours. You must go for it. Stone tell me please. At what time Freya came to boutique? She came to boutique around 11 a.m. Then you can go to her Maria. Freya. My lovely daughter. Think again please. This is a very big decision. Divorce is not a little thing at all. I suggest you to think over this again. Mom. Don't try to change my mind please. I've already made my mind. I'll surely go for it. I'm gonna meet with my lawyer and ask him to file the divorce as soon as it is possible. Oh Freya. You are just making things worse. You even not letting us go to Theo. At least we should talk to him and ask him to solve this matter wisely. Freya. You are just showing stubbornness nothing else. Mom. This is enough now. Please. Can't you see this? It's been many days that I came here to my parents house. He even didn't bother to check upon me. Not he called me a single time. And he knows this, I'm going to be a mother soon of his child. But he has no concern with me and this child. So, no more arguments now. It's better for us all. I should take divorce from him. And there is no need to go for the Mason Mansion at all. And that's my final words mom. Freya. Your mother is only concerned about you. It's better to think again over this decision. Because, divorce is not a good thing at all. Dad. Please. I took this decision after a long consideration. And Dad. You don't feel pity on your own daughter. You never thought for once. Before marrying me with Jacob's son. They are so greedy and cheater people. You did so bad with me. Freya. Please forgive me my daughter. I feel so shameful. I regret for this decision. No need of that dad. With your apology. Nothing can be changed. No one can repent it. Well. My life is spoiled. Enough is enough now. Well, Miss Freya give me only two days. Your papers will be ready then. All right. You can take your time.
Hello Madam Fripp. How are you? I'm good Stone, and what about you? I'm very good Madam. And happy too. That's good. Everyone is happy in this world. Except me. Well. Stone, you didn't emailed me new pictures, and details of upcoming models. Why? Madam, I want to tell you something. Someone wants to meet you, and she'll meet here soon. Oh please Stone, I don't want to meet anybody. I'm not in mood. No madam, don't say like this please. You have to meet her for sure. It's very necessary. By the way who is coming? Who is that person? My sister Maria. She wants to meet you. She wants to talk about Theo with you. She needs to share many things with you madam Freya. Stone please, stop this nonsense. I don't want to talk about Theo at all. If she wants to meet me, then she can. But don't want any discussion on Theo's matter. I'm already having a very bad headache. Don't say like this madam, please. You just give her few minutes and you must listen to her. It's very urgent. Oh. Okay Stone. Alright. How are you Madam Freya? I'm Maria. Stone's sister. Hi Maria, I'm good. How are you? And you can call me by my name no worries? Oh okay thanks. Well, Freya I came here to share something very important about Theo. You must know the truth as well. Well Maria. Listen to me very carefully. I don't want to talk about Theo. I don't need to know anything. I've already acknowledged everything. All about you and Theo, and other past activities. No it's not that at all Freya. You are unaware from truth. As we all were. Freya. That was not Theo. Who trapped me, who texted me, he never talked with me. He never sends his pictures to me. This was all a big big misunderstanding. This was the planning of Layla and Auntie Ruby. They both did this with me, they played with my emotions. And put all the blames on their own brother and son. Theo is a pure heart and soul man. He only loves you, no one else. Please don't be upset with him anymore. He don't know about this all at all. Oh please Maria, stop playing with me now. I know, Theo have sent you here. Don't make me fool at all. I have seen all the proofs and everything in Stone's phone. So please. You can go from here. Don't try to be over smart in front of me. Freya. You taking this all wrong. He don't know even that I came here to you. Freya. Just listen to me fully. It's not like that. You are taking this all wrong again. Maria. I'm so fed up from this plotting and planning things. I don't want to spoil my day. But, if you are saying it, then carry on. Freya, now you see. And conclude this by yourself. This was the very cheap planning of Ruby Auntie. And she used Layla for this all. She is the one who should be guilty. Theo is so innocent man. Oh my my. Maria. Why didn't you disclose these things before? I've done very bad with Theo. He continuously saying that, Freya it's all wrong. I didn't know anything. I didn't do anything. Oh no. What I had done with my Theo? I insulted him a lot. I asked him to leave me, my house and everything. Now, what will happen next? He will not forgive me at all. I have done so bad with Theo. I also get to know this all. By yesterday. Layla came to my house, and confessed this all. She told me each and everything. Theo is not at fault. This is Jacob and Ruby. Who are behind every happening? They didn't let Layla come to my house ever after that. Maria, I've destroyed everything by myself. I ruined my relation by my own hands. Theo loves me a lot. How I'll face him. Is he will forgive me for this all. Maria. You have no idea. What I had done with my own husband. He was telling me truth all this time. But I don't listen to him. We both can't live without each other. We never started our morning without seeing each other. And I disgraced him in front of my servants, 
I don't listen a single word from him. Oh no. I was so stupid and insane woman. How I was making this all ended up here. And taking this much bigger step of divorce. No it's not late Freya. I know, if you will talk with Theo. He will run towards you. Because he loves you more than anything. Maria. I'm so so grateful to you. You have no idea what you had done for me. You saved me, you saved my life, my love and my marriage. Thanks a lot. Sir Theo, may I talk with you on something? If you don't mind. Edward. I don't want to listen anything from you. You are such a greedy and cheap person. It's better for you. To go back to your Sir Jacob, and guide him about the new business ideas. How he can play games with others and took advantages of others' sentiments. He will appreciate your scheming services. But Edward remember my words. You will pay for it. You all will pay for ruining people's life. Sir Theo, you are putting an unusual blame on me. This is not fair. You are pointing fingers on my sincerity. You are very little in age and experience with me. You are my boss, it doesn't mean you can say anything to me. Edward, don't compel me to tell you more about you. It's better you can go away from my eyes. Otherwise, I will lose my control. Go away. Theo. This is my last warning to you. If you again misbehave with any of the member of this family, I swear, I'll not bear that. Got you. And mommy, if now in wards, any of you and this family member interfere in my life, I'll not spare anyone then. It's my last warning to you as well. Theo, I'm your mother. Watch your words. You already crossed all the limits. Wow, mommy. Wow. You people crossed all the limits not me. You people spoiled my life. Due to your so-called low standard and cheap plannings. You people spoiled the lives of many innocent people one example is that girl Maria's. Then me, and Freya's life as well. My life and now, you also want to spoil Martin and Leila's life. Mommy if you don't mind with due respect may I know this from you. Like, how many more lives you and daddy wanted to ruin by the way? Shut up and keep your mouth shut. Do whatever you want to do. And listen Theo. This is my home. I will not let Freya to be here. Yes, you are right this is your and daddy's house. And you both live here happily please. But now, you please listen to me carefully. I'm going to marry my sister Layla with a man, who love her that is Martin. I will not bear any kind of interference and mess in this all. Layla is my daughter. And who are you to give me your so called directions? Yes, she is your daughter and she liked Martin and wants to marry with him. And mommy maybe you know. Oh sorry, I forgot this, of course you know it. Your husband Mr. Jacob Oliver Mason. The CEO of the Oliver Mason Empire. He sent some gangster to beat that poor guy Martin and threaten him so bad. And you both know your daughter loves this man. Wow mama wow. What is the planning? Are you for real? Are you sure? You called yourselves our parents? Theo now what you want. You already eat my mind a lot. Mommy. I'm leaving this country after Layla's marriage with Martin. I don't want to live here anymore. Because here, people have lots of wealth. But, they have very small heart and also very political mind. I don't want to live with these kind of materialistic people. Where they only give priority to businesses, wealth and to their so called statuses. Don't give the love and respect to any human and their relations. You are my mother and you always will be. And I'll always respect you in my whole life. Same like I always did from my childhood. Because I love you so much mommy. But, I will not live in this house with you all and also not in this country even. I can do any small job of being a waiter in any other country. Even I can start working on petrol pumps, stores. Anything I can do, I'm a very hard working headstrong man. But mommy what I only want is love, sincerity and mentally peace. I want to spend my remaining life with happiness only. I can live alone. It doesn't matter. 
But mommy, you know, I can't even breathe properly in this Mason mansion. Because here, 24-7, you all are on planning, plotting and scheming mode. And talk about the benefits for businesses and wealths. So I am so sorry for my harsh words mommy. I also love you a lot. What you did with me. I know each and everything now. But, I forgive you for every single thing. I hope you understands my words so well. I am here in this house until Layla's marriage. But mommy please promise me please you'll not discuss with me about Freya's matter again. And yes about my child. Wherever I live and wherever I go. I will always pray for my child and for his well-being. May he become a good and decent person of this society. With no greeds. No wrong planning come into his mind. What happened for a way are you crying? Dad tell me what I should do now. How I'll face Theo and how I'll come in front of him. I did very wrong with him. Even I didn't give a chance to speak for once in front of me. I'm so bad dad. Yes for you did very wrong. That day you must have to listen him. He is your husband and also he loves you very much. He is totally different from his family. Theo is a gemstone for you. Dad. I want my Theo back. I want my husband and father of my child. Back into my life. I will seek for his forgiveness and mercy. But I need him back now. Martin my friend. Please start the preparation of your marriage. In next few days I'll leave this country. So, I just want to see you and Layla as a husband and wife. I want you two to get married soon and live happily. Thank you so much Theo. I never saw such a nice person like you in my whole life. You are such a great man. You have few days Martin. Please start the preparations. Theo why you are leaving this country. Martin you know the mentally peace is very necessary in one's life. Even you have lots of wealth and businesses and all that. But, if you don't feel mentally peace then all things are useless. And Martin I don't feel mentally peace in Mason Mansion at all. That is the place for politics, plannings and benefits only. Martin we all will be mad day by day. We only wants to win the race of business, wealth and status and so on. And in this race or you can call it a battle. We spoiled many lives. We broke many hearts. We play with the sentiments of many people. And we even don't bother for it. Because, we want to win the race only. Martin for all that reasons. It's better we should live alone earn less and spend our life happily and with mentally peace. This is my formula of happy life. My family spoiled my life due to this business race. Now you see, my wife is not with me. Daddy always used to say business family marry and business family. Martin this is a very wrong slogan. But in real only a pure heart and crystal clear soul. And love, care and respect. Is matter only. Today you have money. But tomorrow not. Because money is just a piece of paper and it's very unloyal to its owner. Due to this we lose every day so many of our beloved relations. We break many hearts. We destroy many lives. And even due to this money we human become a wild animal. And now we are scratching each other. Due to this money. And this is so bad Martin. Well now I am going Martin. Because I've eaten to take Layla for the wedding shopping. Theo you are 101% right. Due to this race we become so mad day by day. And every day we spoiled many relations due to this business race.
I listen your final decision Theo, from your mother. Now you also listen to my final decision then. If you don't follow me or if you will leave this country. Then Theo, I'm also giving you my statement in written. When I'll die. Then, don't give any single cent to my son Theo. Give my all wealth and charity only. My daddy take my full name please. Theo Jacob Oliver. I'm your son and I'll always be. And yes no need to give any statement in written. I can give you my written statement if you want them now. I don't need any single penny from you and from this Oliver Mason empires. It's all money is rolled into the tears and blood of innocent people. I can earn by myself and spend my remaining life happily daddy. Don't you worry. But daddy I am really sorry to say I don't want to be a part of any battle any race. I don't consider myself as the part of this family whose only believe on raising businesses and playing with others like a toy. Congratulations to you daddy. This is all yours I don't need it. As I told to mommy also. I am here only for a few days until my sister Layla's wedding. Then I will move from here for always. Isla. Wow, this is your business meetings with driver of your brother. Please listen. Shut up. Don't say any single word in front of me now. I am going to talk with your brother Jacob. And yes listen carefully. I also give you divorce now. Get lost from here.
Theo. Our main motive is to leave this country. Our child should not raised in this political surrounding and learned no scheming planning and plotting regarding anything. Due to a high fire explosion at Jacob's vehicle factory, everything is burned. Our news reporter just told us, nothing is left. Almost 80% of his machinery and spare parts are put to ashes. This is a very side for Jacob and his family. guys this is me Sayyid Mohsin Raza from Naja Cartoons uh, and thanks for supporting my channel and uh, I must request to you uh, please continue your support to Naja Cartoon and keep subscribe like share my channel thank you